Bryce, oh, Bryce and I are over here madly die cutting, trying to get a little bit ahead for our project today. We are going to do a very fun kit from Find a Trading. And it's a little different than anything we've done before. So it looks like Betty's not feeling good. Sorry, you're not feeling good, Betty. Let me hope for a very quick recovery. So recommended tool for these dies is release paper comes in a roll and it allows us to easily remove our paper from our die. It goes in between the mirror board that we're cutting and the die itself and allows things to pop out more easily. The very first one we had, Bryce and I had a little trouble getting the paper out of the dies. And as you can see, the dies are coming out pretty good now. And the release paper is coming out really well. So I'm gonna let you take over this part, honey. And we'll get started with an introduction to this kit. I will when you stop it. Okay. All right. This particular die doesn't have a lot of... I got it. doesn't have a lot of release holes in it. Okay, the dies we're going to use today are corner dies, and we're going to use a set of them to create both corners, but also patterns in the centers of our, of our designs. Let me show you what we're going to work on, and then, well... Get going. Before we do that, let me say hi to Betty, Sharma, Mary T, Glenn, uh, Jane G, and Irene, Thelma. Thelma. Hello, Thelma. And I think that's it for right now. If I missed anybody, sorry. Sorry. Never do it on purpose. Excuse me. Oh, Catherine just got here. Hi, Catherine. Okay. I'm going to have to do a little weeding on some of these corners. But these are going to be beautiful. Go ahead and move to my hands, please. We have these really pretty corner pieces that are very, very highly detailed. And they're bigger than most corners. But look how beautiful that is. You get four different corners on a sheet. Here's another one. Come in a little closer yet. I pulled something up behind them that you can see them better. Back of your Mary paper. I have a couple of them that really have to get seriously weeded still this one has like a bajillion little pieces in it i'm gonna use my dye brush on that and see if i can clean that up a little <laughs> i still have lots of grit on my tabletop from yesterday's project most of the weeding is really easy it just pops right out it's just that one dye that's gonna be a little more challenging. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful though, so it'll be worth the work. And we have all these beautiful, beautiful dies. Here's another one you haven't seen yet. Okay. 
Beautiful. Okay, let's see. So that's another one of those. Is that diaper? Dry brush is great for this. Cleans them up so fast. Okay. Let's roll that over there and it pops all the pieces out. These really are a pretty fine filigree in these dies. I think we might find, I don't know if I have a shim plate in that or not. And when you look at the die cutting, look at the sandwich and see if it has the metal plate in it. If it doesn't, we might want to put it in. There's a couple of these don't look like they want to pop out as easily as they should. So if we already have the shim plate in, we might put a piece of cardstock in just to tighten the sandwich up just a little. We got it, but That's the same. <laughs> I knew I only had four dies, but I had five stacks here. Let's see how we do on this piece with all these little micro pieces in it. And it cleaned right up. Look at that. <laughs> Die brush is such a good tool. That's what this one looks like. Such a good tool. But look at this. This is just packed full of pieces. Roll right over the top of it with our dye brush. Almost all gone. I got one big piece up here to pull out. Oh, a little one. Just that fast, all those little pieces gone. And that one goes there. Okay, Bryce is going to cut some more of these while we get started on our kit. So you've seen the dies. This die set I'm using is called something that may remain nameless. It's called the Perfect Butterfly Flowers Collection. And the four corner dies is called Four in One Corner. <laughs> JAD10151. And that is the collection that we're working on. This is our paper pack. Boy, everything is. <laughs> I just have little, little um, sandy stuff all over my desk from my embossing yesterday. How beautiful is this? Beautiful. Looks like you get about three sheets of each, which is normal for fine it trading. And you'll remember that these are double-sided sheets, so we have our choices of backgrounds. But this is the paper pack. And it, too, is called Perfect Butterfly Flowers by Janine's Art. That's what we're using today. I need at least one more set of these, honey. That would be enough for four cards. <laughs> and these are our 3D papers. We have one. Two, three, 
and four. I do not have a kit put together yet because I'm putting it together for the first time. And we need samples for the girls to put the kits together. So we will get that done. Margie is here tomorrow for our um, table time. And while well, she's when she's not helping customers, she can be working on putting this kit together. So I would think we could probably have it up by Monday. Okay, let's get going on the die cutting and I will get going on the assembly of pieces. So let's just pick one of these to start with. I'm gonna pick this one because it's on top. What's that? Oh, yeah, before we get going, Teddy's here. He just got a new haircut, so I thought I'd let him say hello to everybody. He is right here by Bryce's feet. We should be able to keep his attention today because we have pepperoni. <laughs> so let's see if he can come and have a little visit with everybody. Hi, Ted. You look sleepy. Were you sleeping in Daddy's lap? Yes. Were you sleeping? Pepperoni, he said. Can you sit? Oh, yes, you can sit so well for pepperoni. Oh, he said, I like toes. He just got his hair cut. It's a new do. Here. Come on, over here. <gasps> Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Can you sit? Sit and look over here. Hey, look over here. Yeah, I'll look wherever that pepperoni is, Mama. Do I have more of the acetate butterflies and dragonflies? I'm uh, not sure. We'll have to look. I will take a look for you. There he is. Our old pretty boy with his PetSmart scarf. <laughs> he was playing with Bryce on the bed last night as we were getting ready to go to bed. And he got that scarf covered up over his, up over the top of his head. And he covered his eyes and he couldn't get the scarf moved. He was running around with a scarf over his face. It was so funny. <laughs> yes, he's such a dapper boy. He, he's such a dapper boy. He said, well, I'd kiss you, Mama, but I really want more of that pepperoni. This is like dog crack. Here, over here. I want you to look at everybody. Come here. <gasps> like puppy crack. I think that's enough, don't you? Maybe you could lay down nicely. Hey, lay down. Hey, lay down. He said, I'll do whatever you want, Mom. Just give me more. Just give me more and more and more puppy crack. Yes, just give me some more. He's so soft after just getting all groomed. Okay, you ready to be done? He said, no, I'll stay here all day. If you give me doggy treats, I'll stay here all day. I'll stay here all day long, Mom. Okay, one more. Do you want one more? One more. No, I want one more whole bag. I know there's more. I know there's more, Mom. I know there's more. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it for this time. He said, no, there's more in the bag. Give me more. Well, I guess I have to go see my dad now. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get these put together. <laughs> okay. He's going to take over Bryce's seat at the computer. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> he may decide he wants to get up and walk across the computer and back. We never know what we're going to get. These are beautiful. Punch outs, by the way, with the flowers and butterflies on them. <laughs> okay. 
All of them are numbered on the sheet so you can tell what goes where. These are much lighter weight than the ones from Hunky Dory. It doesn't mean they're lesser quality. It's just a different product. So don't get flustered that they're lighter weight. They work just fine. They just a different product. But they're numbered on the sheet so you can tell which pieces go with which. I know I put some foam squares here. We're going to layer them up, largest piece to smallest piece. Hi, Roberta. We're going to work on some find it trading today. This set is called um, Perfect Butterfly Flowers from Janine's Art. And they're really quite beautiful. And we have a really interesting set of corners. We're going to try with these today. Brittany picked this up for me last night. And I'm really kind of seeing it for the first time with you. But I think they're going to be very pretty. The instant I saw the corners, I had a bunch of ideas for those. So let's go ahead and layer this up. Did everybody find the kits for the... Um, for the rice paper are out there now. <laughs> um, I had an on-site class last night with those. And boy, did those guys have fun. We really, they picked all different images and let them pick their own rice paper to go with the kit and all, uh, there were three people here and all three picked different images to work with and they had a lot of fun with that. I have a couple different sizes of squares here. Not a bad idea. We'll probably put, I think we'll probably put the small squares in the kits because there are places that you need the small squares. But if you have some larger ones too, that will make your assembly go faster. I always enjoy doing these find it trading kits because you get a lot of cards and they don't tend to be, the kits are not all that expensive, but they really have a beautiful appearance to the finished cards. And they're not like things you see all the time. I love these flowers. They're beautiful. And I'm using two millimeter foam squares, which is going to give me some really nice height. Some of you prefer to use one millimeter. And those will be beautiful too. How's it going, honey? Okay. We expect them. Did you use the rice paper or the release paper? Yep. <clears throat> Here's our first flower done. It's beautiful. Look at all that height. This is not one where I generally recommend that we try and get extra images out of these. Okay. Yeah, I should be mad she missed Teddy. Mary will. Teddy Cam. That she's her. She's Teddy's internet godmother. 
<laughs> I love the way everybody looks after each other in this group. Okay, so our first one done. I'll go ahead and do these. I'll we'll put these cards together and then we can work on another set. This only has four pieces, so this should go together quickly. All the pieces are pretty good size, so I can use my larger squares. <clears throat> Teddy is four years old this year. He was born in 2019. Doesn't seem possible he could be four years old already. Especially since he still acts very much like a puppy. <laughs> Which I love. He is a big player with toys. And he's kind of a jokester. <clears throat> so he's a lot of fun. Yeah, I could probably check in on Mary after class. She might be here. We never know. I mean, she might pop in here anytime. We'll see. <laughs> Remember that first video I did where I introduced Teddy? And he fell asleep in my arms while I was talking about him. <laughs> okay, this one's done. And last we have a tulip. Then we have lots of little free-range butterflies that we can add. And will add to our cards. Oh, I've got to show you guys what we made in class this week. As soon as I get this tulip together, I'll show you. <laughs> we have been making miniature, in our quilling class, we made miniature flower pots. And now we're making miniature flowers. <laughs> My class called it their potty training class. <laughs> oh, they're really funny. We started out trying to use one eighth inch quilling strips to make the pots. And when you make dimensional things, you make a really big tight coil. And then you start pushing that coil out to get the dimension. And with the eighth inch strips trying to do the pots, <laughs> literally nine times out of 10, <laughs> the pot the, the coils pushed through, and we had, you know, it all came uncoiled after all the work of winding them up. It takes like 10 quilling strips uh, joined together to make it. Then you quill it, and you wrap that all in a tight coil, and then you push it out to create the pot. Well... There were some potty mouths involved <laughs> as we were doing our potty training. <laughs> as those coils came loose. <laughs> and hi, Karen. So, oh, I'm going to show you the potted plant here in just one second. As soon as I get this tulip together, I have a daffodil here on my desk. So what we found about making the pots is that you do take 10 strips and put them together and do a tight coil with those 10 strips. 
and then but if you will use the quarter inch strips they don't push out as badly and you're much more likely to get a satisfactory pot <laughs> oh, it was pretty fun and funny though even when it wasn't going well <laughs> Yeah, we have some good senses of humor in the parts of my <laughs> quilling club members. There was a lot of laughing going on, even with the frustration of having the pots come and coiled. Would you grab my um, greenhouse over there, would you please? I'm going to show them the whole effect. And my other little pots, too. I looked for a supplier of greenhouses so I could provide the greenhouses. I just couldn't find one that was affordable. So I referred everybody for their greenhouse if they want one to Amazon. Most people are waiting till we're done to see how big their how big their flower pots end up being to choose their greenhouse. There's my tulip. All finished. Very pretty. Okay. These are my little flower pots. My little greenhouse lid. Come in close, please. I'm going to need to be close to see these. I have little bowls and little pots. They do a really big, flat coil, tight coil, and then you push the center out to make these little tiny flower pots. And then to get it to stay that way, then we coat the inside with glue. So there's one of my pots. This one's a little bit more of a bowl. And then I have a couple little tiny ones. So I'm going to position all of my little pots in my greenhouse. This is my greenhouse. And this is my one that I've finish putting the daffodils in. <laughs> and when I get them all finished and positioned in my greenhouse, they're going to be so, so cute. I think I'm going to get a couple. I'm going to use some of that really um, um, small um, rock. You can see my fingerprints all over the lid. <laughs> um, I'm going to get some really small rock and put in the bottom of here and then get a couple of really tiny seashells and put in with my with my garden. Oh, don't make sea faces. Shells. Don't make faces at the idea of having some shells in there. I think it will be really cool. Like a turtle or a little squirrel or <laughs> something appropriate. Okay. So, all right. Let's try making something. Do I have four of everything over here now? As far as I know. Okay. Do you want to start making some? Uh, the only problem is. Did you make it out of silver or gold? Well, I thought it was. You need to make another one because I didn't. don't have four. I don't have gold. the same. We have plenty of gold. Not over here. 
Okay, so let's go ahead. You could mix. You could mix the gold and silver, but. All right. Let's see what I want to use for my paper on here. These are actually really pretty. Be pretty with this one. Oh, I love that. Oh, I think that's got to be it right there. Well, that's pretty, too. <laughs> oh, gosh. They give me too many pretty papers, and then I have challenges. <laughs> Catherine wants you to crochet many spiders in a web for the greenhouse. <laughs> might happen. <laughs> Irene said, no, a squirrel would nibble on the daffodils. <laughs> I think my greenhouse is going to be very cute when I'm done with it. And if I want to put a little starfish or something in it, I will put a little starfish in it. <laughs> <laughs> now our pots were our potty training. <laughs> the paper pad we're using, Roberta, I think I showed it before you came in, is called Perfect Butterfly Flower Butterfly Flowers by Janina Art. It's so cute. And then these um, punch outs we're using are in the same theme. And the dies are from the same collection. So I'll just cover my card quickly here. Using a five by five card. I think it's a five by five. It's a five and a quarter inch card. And let's see how we want to do our. Let's see how I want to do our layout in the center. Do I want to use them in the center like a medallion? Or do I want to come in from the sides with them like corners? I use the one that's not the same for a moment just to get an idea of my layout. I think this one, oh, that's actually quite pretty though. It's really pretty, but I think it's almost too big. It covers my medallion almost up. So I think instead this time, I'm gonna bring these in from the corners. And then put my medallion, my paper in the middle. Although this needs some kind of separation from the background because it's too busy on the background. So what happens if we get another piece out here? Maybe use this orange that we had. Put it on there and then on our back. Oh, 
do believe I'm going to need a circle cut. Oh, my circle values. But our <coughs> it's good to have your circle and square dies handy for things just like this one. <laughs> No, I didn't make the greenhouse film. I got it on Amazon. I just had a picture in my head of wanting all my little pots to be in a greenhouse. Because I wanted, they're just delicate little things and I wanted to protect them. Yeah, I think that's about the right size. You want to cut this, please? You can weed that one. You go right over the face of this, honey. And you don't have to poke out all the individuals. So. This is the one I made right here. Use that ruler or a roller to scrape it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, I need that this. All right, let's get some sticky specs out here. I'm very excited about a new product I have coming. It's not here yet. Thelma told me about them, and I went and looked and found them. It's just like sticky specs. But the specs are colored. Now, the value in having the colored specs is you can see what's left to use on the paper where you have specs left. <laughs> I will be making a kit for you, Roberta. We just had to, we have to get the samples done so the girls know how to construct the kit. So, since I didn't have samples done in advance today, we're designing the kit as we go. <laughs> Thank you, Brace. This kit will make, it looks like 12 cards. My guess is that they will be predominantly in European A6 and 5 by 5s Sticky specs just work so well for this. I can't wait till those colored specs get here. Wow. They, in France, they have four holidays in May. May Day, VE Day, and two feast days. Wow. Okay. We'll put this down here. I'm going to put this colored circle in the middle with some glue. As I find a bottle of glue. Hopefully a bottle is working. Need a pen. And some pens sitting out here. Cosmic shimmer one right here. 
Well, this one hasn't been used in a while either. Uh, I need some pins, please. I'm teaching classes. My stuff goes back and forth from my desk to the tables in the classroom. He's on the seat, Teddy. Bryce has a chair right next to him. And Teddy is just all stretched out on the, on the associate producer's chair there. Did you find some pins? No. Right. Well, there are pins somewhere. Ah, I found one. Okay. Okay, we have glue. Disc in the center. I'm gonna put our flowers and butterflies right there in the center on top. And we have card number one. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Okay, next. Let's pick out something for our roses. I have our tulips here to use. So, not much for. Oh, this was actually those same flowers we just used. That's probably what they had in mind for that one. Oh, well. Oh, there's the roses. That's pretty. That's very pretty. It's that one. <coughs> okay. Okay. Now, the question is, do I want to use a European A6? That actually could look really pretty good. The question is, are the corners going to be too big to do that? The answer is, I don't think so. So let's try that. This is a, this one's not so, so big. We might be able to do it on a medallion, but let's just give it a shot here. Let's try it different ways. We gotta try some things. <clears throat> it's a very, very pretty background paper in this kit. They always do such a good job with their background papers and the find it trading kits. It's really nice quality paper. You touch it and it's just very, very smooth. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, the question is, medallion in the center. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Okay. 
Down in the center. Look how pretty those medallions make up, guys. Can you see that? Come in closer, honey. So you can see that medallion. Putting four of those corners together. I think that's actually quite pretty. You know what we might need, though? We might need some gold, some other gold corner stickers. Might be able to find some gold corner stickers for us, honey. <laughs> Just see what we've got. Don't those sticky specks on the colors sound like just a great tool? Since Thelma told me they had them out there, I went looking for them. And we found them because it's a new product. <clears throat> We're having to wait for them to actually be released. But I have them on order. We should be getting them any time. What size? Uh, what size you got? I, actually, small corners is kind of what I had in mind. <sighs> okay. Like that. Perfect. We'll build our medallion in the middle. Thank you. I don't know if I have any more of that one, so I'll probably use the other ones so we can put them in the kids. Betty says, can you move the camera so we can see better? Tell it to your producer. I am. No, he's got the chair. Oh, he says, tell Teddy he's the producer. <laughs> there we go. Look at that beautiful medallion we created out of those corners. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I'm going to put the roses in the center of that medallion. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think this is going to need a couple of corners on it, which we will add. And that is definitely going to want a butterfly. So I'll need to be picking out a butterfly to go on here, too. I'm going to use some little, oops, trying to help it out, it's moving it the wrong way. Okay, I just think that because we have all the action in the center, that it might be good to put a couple little gold accents in the corners. This sheet does have some wavy borders, too. We could put a border around it as well if we wanted to. The um, gold from the Mary and the gold from the star forms really accent one another nicely. As with some gold words. If we wanted to put them on there. Okay, 
And then we need a butterfly that's going to show in this background. I think one of the lighter butterflies might be the best choice for showing. So we got to do what we often do, and that is put the adhesive in the center, down the center of the body and the butterfly, and kind of perk his wings a little bit to give him some dimension. I think I'll stop there. If I wanted to add a greeting, I'd add it right below the medallion. Back up just a little, please. <coughs> There we go. Card number two. Isn't that fun with the shapes? And here was card number one with the corners on the outside. Okay, let's do card number three. Let's see what we've got in our book that uses tulips. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> Pages kind of get away from me turning themselves. Well, this does have a tulip in the blue, which could be pretty. Let's see what else we've got here. Just beautiful flowers. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the blue tulips. <coughs> I think I want to try. Let's do another European A6 card. Actually has a nice contrast to the background, so I don't necessarily need to put anything behind that. The question is how I want to use my corners this time. I like these silver ones, honey. If you want to cut three more of them. eventually need them anyway. <clears throat> and this one looks a little heavy. It looks a little heavy. Let's try the medallion. I think this corner might be best on a five by five. You'll see how heavy it is, even made as a medallion. It's still pretty heavy on that smaller card. Let's switch gears and grab our next 
corner, which I think will be a much lighter design. It is really fun to have four choices of the corners. This is a much lighter area pattern, which I think is going to work out much better on this smaller card. The silver would be pretty on the blue too, but I don't have enough of those yet. Grace is going to cut us some more. We'll have some more gold and purple flowers coming up. That will be great with the silver. Oh no, see, look how much better that looks with the lighter pattern. And I'm going to totally love that one. Let's go with that. <clears throat> Get our sticky specs out here again. See this part right here? When you have the colored sticky specs, you'll be able to tell how much adhesive you have left in each of the areas with the colored specs. You can't really tell right now. You just have to put it on there, and if it doesn't feel sticky enough, you put it on a different place and do it again. But with the colored specs, I think that is just going to be nifty. A perfect addition to an already great tool. <clears throat> okay. If you line these up carefully, you have a little flower pattern in the center of this one, which is fun. I will let you know as soon as they get here, I think that is just going to be a very neat tool. Look at that beautiful medallion. See the flower that's created in the center? That's beautiful. And because we do have a big medallion on a small card, I don't really think we need to get a little bit of corner here. It needs to be stepped down. Um, I don't really think we need to do anything else to this one except perhaps add a butterfly. But I think that's beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. It's easy to create beautiful things when you have beautiful tools to work with. Ah, you guys are very sweet. Thank you. That's our third card. Oh, we we're going to put a butterfly on that, and I did not. So let's do it. Purple butterfly? You could never go wrong with a purple butterfly, I hear.
So I added some new bundles, deep discount bundles to the store. This time I added um, daffodils, which Margie is going to offer in a class coming up. Uh, I think. I think it might be the 11th. I'm not sure of the date yet. It's on a Thursday. She's going to teach her how to make the daffodils. And we have a very nice deep discount bundle that has the daffodil dye, the daffodil stamp, a daffodil paper pad, and the daffodil mold. So it's great. <laughs> Great, great, great. Well, I already know that for these corners, I'm going to need a 5x5 five five card. But I also know I have to put some more flowers together because we used all those. So let's, I love these purples. I think we should do the purples next. Beautiful. <laughs> Got hydrangeas on this one. I love hydrangeas. So um, we also I also put together a bundle on magnolias. Now I don't know if we're going to be able to offer a class in that or not. It depends on what's um, heartfelt is way backed up in some of their orders. I think I have four orders outstanding with them right now. And it just depends on how many magnolias I had in there before they sold out. Um, it may be just that we offer the bundles and then we won't have enough to offer a class. But if you want the die, I think and out of the ones that I know for sure I have, I think we're down to the five bundles, and that's it. We won't have any more of the. the uh, we're not going to have any more of the magnolias unless there's some in my upcoming orders. So. I got. I went ahead and got my magnolias because they're really beautiful. Then I also did some of the complimentary dies and stamps in the sets. So, for example, in the magnolias, they had not only the magnolia die, stamp, mold, and paper pad, which I put in. Um which I put in a bundle. Then they also had a magnolia, I think they, let's see, they had a magnolia bouquet and they had a magnolia bud. And so for each, the magnolia bud and the bouquet, I made those bundles with the stamp and the die which would be $50, basically $49.98 for both. And I made them $19.99. You pay for the stamp and you get the die for free. And for each one of those, if you bought the Magnolia bundle and the two $19.99 sets, you would have an I Want It All collection. You won't get the pink bag, but you would have all of the Magnolia collection with those three things. <laughs> um, on the daffodils, there are there's the daffodil with the daffodil dye, stamp, mold, and paper pad. And then there is also... There were actually two different design pads that go with the daffodils. And if you were to get the daffodil big bundle, look at how beautiful that is. The daffodil big bundle 
with each of the stamp and die sets. Once again, you would have the I Want It All collection. You will get everything that goes with the daffodils at remarkably discounted prices. So it's like getting an I Want It All at less than the half price. So they're getting harder and harder to find. And you get everything for the I Want It All except the pink bag. So I have two new ones. I also posted just a couple. We're almost out of callas. And the calla lilies are now. So the dyes are sold out at Heartfelt. So this is the last of them. But I did post a few more of the calla lily and swan sets. And the same holds true there with our calla lily big bundle and the two swan sets, you basically had have the entire I Want It All collection with the calla lilies. So I have three I Want It All bundles posted right now. This stuff is going fast. So if you love it, get them while they're still around because they're not going to be here very long. So the magnolias, the daffodils, and the calla lilies are all available and I wanted all sets. And like I said, those sets are very deeply discounted. There's two of our beautiful flowers, gladiola, and I don't know what you call these purple pom-pom flowers behind the glad, but it's beautiful. And then we have some little bellflower sort of things here. I'm not sure what these are called either. But we'll put this one together, and then we'll pop six more cards together. Bryce is making us some silver, which are going to look really, really beautiful with these purple and blue flowers, aren't they? And then we have more butterflies. These go together, as you can see, the assembly of these... Flowers is very, very easy. You're layering from the largest to the smallest. These flowers basically have... Yeah, there's actually two paper pads in the daffodil pattern, which I found to be interesting. Let's see. Oh, don't drop on there and stick... That's not what I wanted. Oh, there we go. I was trying to figure out where that went. I was trying to match it to the wrong piece. They might be fox flowers. I'm not sure what they're called. But if that's what you think they are, if that's what we'll call them. Because uh, I'm not going to argue about that. <laughs> it is... Well, Glenn should go ahead and get his, if he didn't already get his daffodils, he should get it. Well, it's on the deep discount bundle because it's a heck of a deal right now. <laughs> really good deal. There we go. It's over $100 worth of stuff for less than 50 And when you know that these are closed out, and the dyes are no longer available at uh, on many of these sets. Are no longer available at Heartfelt. When these are gone, they'll be gone. 
I'm trying to get as many sets as I can because I love hard felt and I've always wanted to do a bunch of the flowers up. And this is like my last chance. So I've been trying to gather up as many as we could get our hands on. Okay. We have a few butterflies on here. We better punch out so we don't lose track of them and toss it with the paper. That would be terrible. Because we got butterflies. You might um, link those deep discount bundles, if you would, honey, please. Oh, I don't think I took down the um, gateway dies yet either. I meant to, but I don't think I did it yet. So it wouldn't be cheating if you didn't get them and want them to jump in and get a gateway die before the broadcast is over and I take the listing down. <laughs> you can still get them while I got the listing live. He was over here by me trying to see if he could con me out of more pepperoni. Well, I had to move the chair, so I had oh. to enter the computer and he jumped down. Oh, he said, you've offended me. I was sleeping and you've offended me. Okay. Let's see what kind of paper we have to match these. I know we had some beautiful papers here in the front. And we've got those. There's the hydrangea right there. I think we definitely want to use that with the hydrangeas. We'll put those together. That's beautiful together. I don't think I want any backer on that. Then we've got the gladiolas with those, whatever those purple pom poms are. Oh, here's the one that goes with this one. This is really cool. Look at this. That's pretty. Let's put those together. And oh, this this is also that flower. They're making this tough. Hmm. And oh nope, that's not it. We don't have a paper specifically for the glads and the this glads one would look really good on this purple though. <laughs> Those would be some nice contrast. I'm doing that right on a camera view where you can't see what I'm doing. And then I could use this one for this flower. Okay, so I have my background papers chosen. I want to do this hydrangea first because it's really beautiful. I love that, and I just, I don't, I don't think I want to do anything but put that in the middle and then put some corners on it. That's what I think we'll do. Put some pretty corners on this one. that white with the hydrangeas is just beautiful. I also wanted to let you know today we'll look at them a little bit more on Tuesday but um for those of you who may be watching that use our hobby dots or those of you who have been waiting for embroidery floss for your embroidery on paper projects, we just restocked hundreds, hundreds of beautiful, we just restocked hundreds of beautiful 
threads and hundreds of beautiful Hobby Dot stickers in all, I think there's like 26 designs. We have all of them, including the new colors, because there are new colors that have been done in those. So, if you are a fan of those products, don't walk, run, and get them while we still have the full collections available. Sometimes people come in and buy those hobby dots, like 10 sheets at a time. And there are so many hundreds of styles available that I usually only buy 10 sheets at a time. So it won't take long for us to be out of some of the colors again. So if you want to get a collection going of some of the basics, it is a great time fabulous time to jump in and get those. You got it, Diane. Excellent. You know, that one is going to sell out first. It is. They are not going to last. Ah. Nectar of the gods. Diet Coke. <laughs> Uh, it's caffeine-free Diet Coke. Nectar of the lesser gods. <laughs> I love the original, but he doesn't love me anymore. Could have it this time of day, and I'd lay awake tonight. So I have caffeine-free only these days. But I do still love the taste of Diet Coke. How much was the Magnolia collection, honey, there? Well, look in the... I think it's really quite reasonably priced. The, the additional bundles on down. The additional bundles, there it is. $49.95 for $104.96 worth of products in the Magnolia collection. And then the additional, the add-on collections should be $50 and they're $19.99. <laughs> That's great. I'm so glad that Heartfelt offered some of these things at prices that allow me to offer you these kinds of prices because it's pretty exciting. You'll have to look at the listings in the deep bundle discounts. They have some beautiful pictures of projects that were created by Heartfelt using some of those products. I thought it'd be fun on the bundles to put in some of the photos that they used, that they created from them. This one didn't get sticky. I gotta go back to the sticky sheet with it. Might be just about time I get another sticky sheet out. Just feels like there must be more on here if I knew where to put it. That's the beauty of colored sticky specs soon. Wow, this is going to be pretty. I love this where we have the hydrangea in the front and then we have these softer patterns in the back. You lay it right over the top and it just looks like a big bouquet on the plant. You know, it's beautiful. Well, I actually haven't been working towards clearing out the warehouse as much as I have helping Heartfelt clear out their warehouses. 
because I just keep buying it in because as long as I can get it, and especially when I can offer you guys the prices that I'm offering, look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? I love that. You know what it might need? It might need a few rhinestones. Bryce is looking at me like, no, you don't need to do that. But sometimes you just got to. Stickles would be fine, better than rhinestones. This one did need a butterfly. It had no butterfly in a collection called butterflies. That's just wrong. <laughs> now, now that's better with a butterfly on it. Don't you suppose? We've got four cards done. Let's work on this one. I think this definitely wants a mat behind it. And it might want a pretty heavy mat behind it. Because it's got, it's a pretty big pattern. Aren't these corners fun, the way you can create the medallions or use them as corners, guys? I love that. And you can also, if you wanted to, which I might do this time just to be different, you can turn them on the edge and create a very different visual impression with them. See that there? That's beautiful. But that's going to be gorgeous. Okay. We know what we're doing with this one. We need a 5x5 five five card. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes, this corners these medallions i'm creating come from a pack of four corner dies and sometimes we're putting them in the corners as we did in this case and sometimes in that we're putting them together to create medallions in the centers of our cards isn't that beautiful I probably won't run my heartfelt sky high. But you're right that some will. We probably won't. We'll keep it at a reasonable level for people so folks can still get it. But I am trying really hard to get as much of it as I possibly can in stock before they go out. Yeah, this whole kit, that's going to be included in the kit, and that, and this kit's going to be quite reasonably priced because it's a find-a-trading kit. And so you'll get the kit will include the paper pad. Um, I presume you guys will want the card bases. So it'll include 12 card bases. That's actually really pretty right there. Oh, my God. That's really pretty right there. See that? <laughs> it will include four pages of the push-ups. Look, guys. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It leaves your room to put sentiments in, too. Yeah, it does leave room for sentiments. I might use, we might need some silver corners. <laughs> and find me some silver corners and a silver sentiment. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'm leaving it like that. That's really pretty. I love that. I love the way that turned out. 
So I was telling these guys earlier, Annette, that when I do these kiss like this, I need to have the sample cards for Brittany or Margie to put the kits together. So, and since I came into today without samples, um, Margie will probably work on these tomorrow while we, when she's not helping customers during our on-site event. And hopefully I can have these up by Monday. I'll include some mirror board in the kit. Unless you guys don't want me to. If you want me to keep the price down and you already have your mirror. Well, good job, Annette. Um, if you guys already have the mirror and you don't want me to put it in the kits, tell me that. If you want me to put the mirror in the kit so you can replicate what you see here and all you'll need is your die cutter, tell me that too. Okay? So I just need some guidance from you guys. Thank you. Plenty of mirror. So you just assume I didn't and I'll, I can add that to the You'll also want mirror board, you know. You'll need a die cut or some mirror board. That way you could use different colors in yours, too, if you wanted to. Boy, I love that. Look at the way that turned out. How pretty is that? Isn't that pretty? When you get your kit, Jane, you may just want to go ahead and pick up some. Silver Mary, and I'm just curious what this would look like. It may look really hokey, and I won't do it if it does, but I was just curious what it would look like if I put the other two corners in the corners. <laughs> I never know. I have to try stuff. I have to try stuff, guys. Yeah, I don't like it, but it was worth a shot. We use those on a different card. Boy, I love that. It, you know, this whole theme of this kit is butterflies, and it kind of reminds me of a butterfly in the back. It's just really neat. <clears throat> Do you think it looks like leaves? That's good, too. I love it. What fun. I really like these materials from Fine to Trading. I always find myself getting really motivated when I'm using these materials. Yeah, I'll tell the girls not to put the Mary in. And if you want to, you can just pick up a pack of Mary in a color of your choice. Mm hmm Except it's really long. Flip it, but one in one corner and one in the other. This almost these kind of stickers almost want to be moved with transfer tape because they're so dainty the way they're cut. Your tweezers are
How's that? Charmer recommended a purple bow. Bow um, would look good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We have this purple one here. Now this has a lot of pattern on it. We have a card behind you on a stand that already has Mary attached to it. What? On the stand behind you, there's a card that already has Mary attached. And that can be a nice border. Yeah, except it's a six by six, which is bigger than I'm doing. But it doesn't have to be. Let's see if I can cut it down. I can cut your paper down and have a nice merry border. I don't, but the card itself is too big. So I'm just going to cut the card to the same size as I'm using. Now I have a five and a quarter inch card. And then I can cut my paper down and have a silver border around it. A little adhesive in the corner. Okay, so I'll cut this to five by five since my card is five and a quarter. That's going to be pretty. Thank you. And let's see. That's going to be beautiful, actually. That's going to be really pretty. Deb Bryce, 12.30, have to go. Thanks for lovely class. Good night, Catherine. Sleep well, friend. Track of where my fold is. Yeah, I said a good idea here. This silver border is going to be beautiful. I just got some glue on it. So wipe that off good. There we go. Get that all cleaned up and nice. We're going to use these really soft, pretty filigree behind it. Sticky specs, there's just nothing like them for things like these really fine, pretty filigree pieces. If you don't already have some, guys, when you get your kit, I recommend that you get... Why don't you grab that package for me, honey? I recommend that you get yourself some um, release paper. You will like these dies a lot better if you use them with release paper. The first time through, we did not use it. On all subsequent uses, we did, and it was so much easier, wasn't it, Bryce? Yeah. 
with the release paper in it. That didn't get very sticky. This is what release paper comes like. It's in a box like this. And you get usually two rolls. And it's like, um, in a way, it's kind of like parchment paper. It's slippery. And the good thing about it being slippery is that it doesn't stick to the die and it goes between your die and the paper you're cutting so that things pop out of the dies easier. These dies have so much filigree and such fine lines that you will like the dies a lot better if you're using release paper with it. You can also use wax paper. I have heard, and you guys have probably used it more than I have, I've heard that over time wax paper can give you a bit of buildup in your dies. I don't know if that's true or not. That may just be something made up by the makers of release paper. <laughs> but um, I've always had release paper here by my die cutter, and that's what I've chosen to use. But I do know that on at least a limited basis, wax paper is good. Got that a little off center, but it's just perfect spacing to put a greeting at the top. So I think that's okay. Maybe that's what I was meant to do. Just put a greeting up there. I like this. Thanks. I'll just put this. Right, all the hair sticking out. Let's put this thanks right up there. I'm gonna put this beautiful flower. I think I'll tip it at a little bit of an angle because why not? Um, I have not tried it with parchment. I just mean that it's kind of like a parchment paper. It's really, really smooth. The release paper is. I have not tried using parchment as a release paper. I was going to put that in an angle, but all the backgrounds are straight up and down. So I think I'll go that way. Isn't that pretty? Well, it's good to know. Thanks for your feedback on the wax paper. Like I said, it may just be something made up by the makers of release paper. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know I will never try to talk you into anything you don't need. Like you just, you know. I don't want you to waste your money. I want you to be happy but I want you to be happy with these dies so use some kind of release paper in them whether that's wax paper or whatever it is because the dies your mirror board will stick in them otherwise and that will not make you feel happy and joyful <laughs> when you're trying to get them out this is what the release paper looks like when it's been cut Sometimes they're really pretty. <laughs> Sometimes I've actually used them in my designs. Okay, it's going to be time to make another set of flowers here. I don't know that we'll have time to do. Oh, well, we don't have time. Oh, we do have time to do one more set of flowers. We don't have time probably to do all 12 cards, but you're getting a real good idea of what you can do with these. I think I'll just put these together one at a time. When we run out of time, we'll stop. I love this iris.
Okay. My hands that she's confused how to use the waste paper. Okay, well, maybe we should just build a sandwich here and show her. You just put the release paper between your die and the paper you're cutting so that you, you know, you build your sandwich like normal. You put down the paper that you want to cut. You put down a piece of release paper. Then you put your die on top. Finish off your sandwich. Run it through your machine. And what that does is it goes between the paper that you're cutting and your cutting die and it makes sure that the it helps to ensure that the paper that you're cutting frees up from your die So you just put it between the die and the paper that you want to cut. Candidly, I don't always use release paper. I only ever use it if I try a die. I don't believe in spending money where I don't have to. Um, I only use it when I've tried to die, and it's sticky, <laughs> you know, and it's sticky. Oh, Roberta just said, Debbie, we'll show you. So I guess we'll show them, Bryce. <laughs> let's, um, let's set up a piece of paper to cut. And then we'll show them, we'll run it through and show them after. Uh, type in release. I think that's the only product we have with that name in it. Hopefully we have some in stock. It's one of those products that go ahead and um, uh, return and now sort by relevance. It looks like we're out of release paper now that I've told you how cool it is. I can't sell it to you. But grab a piece of wax paper for purposes of this kit, and I'll get some more release paper in, okay? It's one of those products I don't use every day, so I don't think about it. And then outages kind of sneak up on me. Can you get a piece of paper and let's show her how to use it? I will get some more in and have it available soon. But in the meantime, I don't want to have to hold up your kit. In the meantime, just use wax paper. This is beautiful. I wish we had been able to get more of the garden irises because I would I would love to have been able to do a class with that one, but we don't have enough product to show and be able to sell it. So it's like showing it, then saying, sorry, guys, you can't have this. <laughs> they sold out in two days. <laughs> I told you on that Saturday, I was afraid they would. They were gone. Gone. I think I have a couple of the stamps left, which would be beautiful, stamped and colored. Don't get me wrong about that. They would be beautiful on their own. But the dice have just disappeared. That's what tends to happen is the dyes tend to go first. Let's clean up my mess just a little bit here. Okay. Let's see what we have in our paper pad for our iris. Bryce is getting ready. Oh, can we see that before you cut it, please? 
<coughs> okay, Grace has one set up here ready to cut. And you can see that he has his cutting plate down. Then he has his mirror board. Then he put down that release paper here. And then he put his dies on top. Okay, so we'll put the top on your sandwich. And we're going to run this through. And then we'll bring it back over here to open it and show you what it looks like when we open it. <coughs> In the meantime, we're going to get ready to do something with this iris. Another guy. That dye brush, if you don't have one of those, it's another tool that's just wonderful with this. See how, how closed in this is? Look at here. I use this dye brush on top of it. Just run it all over. You would think it would scratch up the mirror board. It does not. I run that all over it. All the little pieces fall out. Just wonderful. So much better than sitting here poking those out one at a time, huh? Okay, let's see. There's, oh, he's ready. Okay, so we're opening up our sandwich. And when we take off our dies, I have release paper in my die, but my cut image is still on my board. There's another release paper, and see it just kind of slides off because it's so slippery. They just kind of slide right out of your dies, mostly. Sometimes you got to poke them out, but mostly they just slide out because it's just kind of a slippery substance. There's my die release paper. And here are my cut corners. There's one. That looks like it didn't cut all the way through, but I'm sure it did. Two. And I'll just use my die brush on that. <laughs> I keep a ruler here next to where I cutting and I just take the metal blade of my ruler to clean my plate of all that stuff that sticks to my plate. Okay. That makes sense, Diane. That's what we do. Now let's get all these little extras out of here with our dye brush. I might link this product to the dye brush. Let's see if we have those in stock. <laughs> Taking some risks here recommending some of these products. I don't know if I have in or not. But the dye brushes. Anytime you're using really detailed dyes like this, it's just a lifesaver. I think you're going to want... Oh, uh, maybe. Go ahead. Sorry. There it is right there. Stop. There's a Spellbinders one. This one? Mm, it's just a different color. This one I'm using is from Hunky Dory. That one is from Spellbinder. Exactly the same animal. That is just such a good tool. Let's look at that. They're just gone. They're just gone. All right. What are we going to put this iris on? Where's our paper pack? Where'd my paper pack go? Oh. I really don't know. It's here somewhere. It's over on your far side. Ah. Don't know why I stuck a clear up there, but. 
Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Let's see if we have anything that has iris on it. If we do, we'll use the paper they designate. If we don't, one of these butterfly papers would be beautiful. I love that green. Now let's try. I'll try the green and see what I think. That's beautiful. That's actually quite beautiful. Okay. I want that and that. Gold with the green might be really nice, except I'm right back to these that are heavy. Let's see what I have four of. Oh, I love this one. Let's try this one. <laughs> I'm going to either have to do some more serious die cutting or we're going to have to end before we run out of cards because we if you did just three of them and spaced them apart I could except I like that I like that a lot okay this ends up looking almost like a poinsettia flower or a big you know, a big flower behind there. I do love the way that looks. I did love the way that looked with the two, too. Let's see what happens if we do that. That's quite pretty, too. <laughs> That's very pretty. What happens if we use a... Why don't we try using a um, European A6 and make it width-wise? And maybe even spread these out a little bit. I like that. Let's do that. That sounds fun. <laughs> okay. We have a bunch of beautiful cards done in a very short period of time here, guys. So I'm going to put the kit together. But it's just going to be the basics. It will be the. Do you guys want me to put the cards in it or not? You guys tell me if you want the cards in it. Sometimes I know that that can raise the price of the kit when I put the card blanks in it. And if you have plenty of card blanks, you might not. You might not want me to put the card blanks in it. So let me ask you what you want to do. If I do it on site, I'll just have to add some price back in for some of the basics. But yes, put the card blanks. No, don't put the card blanks. I have one vote each way. Keep voting. Need more votes. We've decided we're not putting Mary because I can put together a kit, if you want, that just has the book, the dies, and the four sheets. Bryce and I could probably whip that out today if you, if that's what you want. If we want to add the cards and the mirror board and additional, you know, stickers and that kind of thing. Cards, please. Yes, please. <laughs> Roberta's voting twice. <laughs> I love you, Roberta. <laughs> and that says, yes, include the cards. Roberta says, yes, include the cards. Jane says, I don't really need them. Keep voting, guys. If you're going to get this kit, vote and all. Vote on what you want in it. <laughs> You guys crack me up. <laughs> I 
I love you, Roberta. <laughs> Not necessary for Diane. Okay, so we're two and two. Come on, give me some more votes, guys. have to change out this piece of sticky spit. <laughs> I just don't have much glue left on here. Hi, Brenda. I don't need cards. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to put the kit together with just the book, the dies, and the four sheets of paper. And I am going to link you to where to get the cards. I charge you retail for them anyway. So it's really just, am I going to add them or are, are you going to add them, you know? So I'm going to give you uh, the kit this time is just going to include the find a trading supplies. I did not get that straight. Let's see if I can move these. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. That might be okay anyway. I <laughs> spread them way out. Didn't mean to spread them quite that far, but I cut them way slanted to one side. Let's slide that in just a little bit. A little bit of sticky specks on there, but it's pretty good. Boy, I love that. That's pretty. That is so pretty. <laughs> it's good to see you, friend Brenda. I'm glad you said hello. <laughs> that's what we're going to do we'll put the kit together I will send you a newsletter with the link and I will link you to card packs as well and to the mirror board so that you can have an easy time finding what you're looking for look how beautiful that turned out I love that. Isn't that fun? Who'd have ever thought you could use those corners that way? But we have two of them that are fabulous. How much time we got left? It's four o'clock. Yes. You guys want to do one more or you want to stop there? We could get one more in. I have to make sure I have enough corners. I really don't have a whole lot of corners left, but I think we could get one more in. Let's get one more, and then we're going to stop there. I don't think I have enough matching corners to do much more than that. I say, keep going until you're tired. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you guys for your encouragement. You make me feel good when you say, yeah, please, give me more. <laughs> you know, our class on Saturday is scheduled to go anywhere from two to three hours. So I never mind going just, you know, a little over two because we really could go until five Pacific time and not violate the. I always assume that our Saturday classes are a little more content and that we have to take a little longer as it turns out we kind of 
end up sticking things wherever we can put them since Margie doesn't work on Saturdays. So, and she's really enjoying doing the floral classes. Um, we're putting the flower classes on Thursdays, which really should be a longer content class, but you know, you make things work. Every card we've done here so far used a different paper, which is nice. But I think we're getting to the end of our paper choices without doubling. So let's see what we have for GLAD. Any of these would be beautiful with a GLAD. I actually even like this blue with purple and the GLAD in front of it. I think that would be beautiful. But let's make sure. I also like the butterflies with the GLAD in front of it. I don't think we've used one of the all over butterfly papers yet. I think that might be, yeah, that's too much yellow if I use that one. I'm going to go back and I think we're going to choose one of these blue with blue because I think this would be very striking against that color. And it is. Love being right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's do a wide one again. <laughs> okay. Let's put cover our card in our blue paper. This is just such a fun paper pack, too. You know, I love the punch-outs for this one. I love all the butterflies. Isn't there just something so springy about butterflies? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so this should not be a terribly expensive kit. We got a dollar sixty-nine for the punch outs three times. We got the die, and we've got the paper pack, which is like four ninety-nine or five ninety-nine. So this will not be a terribly expensive kit. It should be. In, I'm gonna say it should be in the maybe less than twenty dollars range, but we'll see how it actually works out. You know I'm going to calculate it. And since we're doing it the way we are, I'll get that listing built later today and send you a newsletter, as I promised, with the links. And we can get these right out. So <laughs> I don't know what Roberta was saying, but Bryce won't. Oh, I'll back up. What did she say? I backed up. I didn't see it. Um, yes. Um, we'll go in, Diane, and put a note to combine your orders. This is just such a fun kit. I really am enjoying it. But I, I have to admit, when I sat down and just looked at the four corners, I thought, hmm. And then as we started working, it's really quite fun to see what you can do with those. I love that we can use the two corners to create that neat pattern and the four corners and then putting the corners out on the corners. One thing we have not tried is actually mixing the corners. It might be interesting to see what you get mixing the different styles. I told Bryce we'd go shopping after class today, so I probably will check on Mary, we'll go shopping, and then I'll come home and work on her 
kits, okay. I also need to, yeah. Yeah, that'll be a really easy way to do that. The girls have been so busy pulling orders. Oh, my gosh. It's been crazy, crazy, crazy here. A crazy I love, by the way. Oh, there you go. I thought I lost you for a minute. I'll get them up tonight and then and send you a newsletter with a link. Ooh, it's going to be pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, sometimes I just get so happy. <laughs> Here's a different seat of sticky specs. That one looks like it's more used than this one. Let's try it. this one. It looks like a fairly new one. Remember our lesson we learned on the sticky specs? Do you remember what that was? Can anybody tell us what the lesson was that you saw me learn on the sticky specs? It had to do with the cover sheet. Anybody remember what that was? We can share it with the group. You saw me make a tragic error in one of our classes with the sticky specs. Do you remember what that was? Yeah. Yes, Mary T. Do not remove the cover sheet. Just peel it back. Now this one. <laughs> that, was, that came off with absolutely no adhesive on it. It may be time for me to visit the stock here and get a new sheet of the sticky specs. That one's not sticky either. I can't wait till the colored ones come out. I just can't wait now that I know that they're coming. That one's stuck. Ha <laughs> ha. I just can't wait. Yeah, don't remove the cover sheet. It is absolutely directional. <laughs> if you separate them and remove the cover sheet, you will end up with a terrible sticky specs mess. As we all saw when I did it. <laughs> Aren't you glad I'm here to screw up for you? <laughs> so you don't have to. <laughs> yes. I'm here for you guys. <laughs> I am here for you. That still doesn't feel very sticky. Comes the point you grab your glue bottle. There we go. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Yes, I will let you know the moment that they arrive. Where is my... Oh, I got that way off center, didn't I? I got it way off center. Maybe it's time for a border. 
See, when we screw up, we get creative. <laughs> We're going to put a border down this side. Make it look like we did that on purpose. Yes, cut it off. You guys are right there with me. If you get something way off center, you either cut down the card or add a trim. <laughs> it's what we do, isn't it? <laughs> we don't panic. We just improvise. It's going to be pretty anyway. It actually looks really pretty. <laughs> we need a butterfly. The chief says we need a butterfly. Let's find a pretty one. We have lots of pretty butterflies here. There's so many in the kit. It's amazing. One with orange and yellow there in the upper corner. The big one. There you yeah. go, that one. This one's not as big as you think it's not wide, but two butterflies. We might have to have two butterflies. It's too uniform there. That's too light. I like that. What glue bottle are you using today? I'm using, well, my little glue bottle was jammed. And while I was looking for a pen, I grabbed my bigger bottle of Cosmic Shimmer. Same thing I always use, except I usually use these on scrapbooks where I want more glue. It's exactly the same adhesive in a different bottle. This is a 60 <laughs> milliliter bottle. Annette, you're funny. <laughs> well, he did tell me when I took my mom to her cancer appointment, if Margie couldn't do the What's New Wednesday, he would have done it for me. So it could happen one of these days. It could happen because I still have my daughterly duties. What do you think, guys? Isn't that fun? Let's see what we've created. We got one, two, three. I love that one. Whoop. Four. Upside down, five, six, seven, eight cards, eight cards. That is eight out of 12. We did pretty good. You will have four more image or yeah, four more images to work on in your kit. Let's see. Yeah, we have this white flower left. And then your kit will also include this sheet of beautiful reds. So this is going to be fun. And I love the fact that the kits are going to be really easy. Your kit is going to include four sheets, this, and the pack of dice. You're going to add your own stickers. You're going to add your own mirror board. You're going to add your own card blanks. I will link you to the borders and corners section of our stickers. I will link you to our heavyweight cards, maybe the medium weight too, but the heavyweight and medium weight cards so you can find your card blanks you want to use. We used European A6 and either five inch or five and a quarter. Either one would be fine. 
and um, mirror board. I'll link you to the mirror board. Okay. So fun. So easy. 12 cards. I think the kit will come in somewhere in the area of 20 bucks. Maybe, you know, give or take just a little. It might be less. It might be a little more. I don't know. But it should be right in that range because it's four times dollar sixty nine plus the book plus the corner dice. And their dice from Find It Trading are usually very reasonable, but I don't know how much this one is off the top of my head. So that's the plan. Does anybody have any questions, comments? Or pearls of wisdom. While you're thinking on that, let me just say, if you enjoyed the show today, hit that like button. It makes me feel so good. And it lets YouTube know, yep, they can feel comfortable in recommending our channel. I'll also um, link you to the, the sticky specs. I don't have the colored ones yet, but I'll link you to the regular sticky specs, okay? And let's see, um, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. This Thursday, I believe we're supposed to be doing a hunky-dory explosion box. That may be a short class because I don't think that's going to take too long to do. But we'll, we'll put that one together. I'll look around at the specialty kits. Maybe there's another one we want to do. And maybe we'll have two specialty kits on Thursday. And uh, if you're liking your experience with Simply Special Crafts, I sure would like it if you'd share our channel and share our store with your crafty friends and family. Um, you know we'll take care of them, and we will always do our best to take care of you. It looks like there are no questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom, so... For now, I'm going to say we will be back on Wednesday with What's New Wednesday. That's at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And until then, I'm going to say good night, Gracie.